Jessica here! Welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers! In the last episode, we left off having blocked out uh, the scaffolding for this building. And it looks pretty good. I have to say, I'm actually going to be pretty excited to build this. Uh, there's obviously going to be a lot more that we're doing with it. That's not, that's not going to be it. Um, but that is, you know, going to be good enough to start. In this episode, I just want to spend some time doing some housekeeping. Um, for example, I want to fix up this thing here. Since we're not using the automatic door simply because we were having issues with it before, I want to take this out and replace it with windows. So let's just go ahead and grind this out of the way. And oh, I need to adjust my headset. It's like falling off my head. Uh, yeah, okay. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, now let's go ahead and figure out what pieces we need for this. So we definitely need, like, the slanted pieces. And hopefully this ends up looking okay in the end. Okay, let's put these down and let's kind of then analyze it from there. Okay. Oh, and we'll also need... The little corner piece as well for the glass. I think that's this one here. It should be. Let's give it a try. And rotate that around. And I have no idea if this is actually facing the right way. But we'll have to try it out. Let's go ahead and see if I can weld that. I don't have any of the stuff for that. Okay, not a problem. We'll go get some glass and some girders. And I like that automatic door. I like that that one works, but I don't. I was not a fan of how the other one worked. And I didn't really get any good suggestions yet from from you guys, so I don't really know if there's a good way to fix it. And I haven't really had a whole lot of time to just play around with them and just have fun with them, so I'm not really sure, you know, of all their quirks and how all their little magical stuff happens. Okay. So that one's placed uh, the, the proper way around. Let's go ahead and make sure that these are also placed the proper way around. And they are. Okay. We just need a little bit more bulletproof glass. I probably should have thought to grab... Oops. Okay, now, if you ch run through the door too quickly, then you'll trigger the, trigger the sensor on the other side and it'll shut the door on your face. <laughs> yes. Right on your face. Okay. We'll get about a hundred of those. We, we still have girders. Yes, we do have girders. Okay, and we'll go ahead and just... Oh. Okay, you have to wait for the door to open all the way, then walk through it. Okay, good to know. So what we'll do is we'll weld these windows together, and then I want to do some housekeeping stuff to some of our small ships. Some of them are in need of some serious TLC, let's be honest. We kind of been, you know, ignoring the maintenance on those ships. So we're going to have to definitely take care of that as soon as we finish this looks pretty good to me yeah I I like that a lot better than what we had going on previously I may end up changing this door to something else um, in, in fact, I'm completely open to suggestions, and if you guys know of a better mod out there, one that maybe doesn't have so many bullet holes in it, <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of cool. I really do like it. I probably mostly like it just because it's different from everything else, but if there is another mod out there that you guys recommend that I use instead of this one, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below, and I will go and download that mod. Okay, let's go have a little look at our mining ship here, the MKZ High Speed Driller. And currently, well, we're missing some parts on it. Like, we're missing some spotlights. And I know we're missing a thruster in the rear. Maybe even two thrusters. Okay, yeah. One thruster there, because we knocked that one off in the very first episode! <laughs> Not even five minutes into the game, and we had already damaged the ship. And then we're missing that one there. So let's go get some thruster components and 
start putting our thrusters back together and our spotlights. Oh, we have thruster components. We may have everything we need, although I think I need large steel tube as well. So we'll just grab a couple of those. And this looks pretty good. I'll just grab a couple of computers as well. We have interior plate. I think we're probably okay if we need anything else. The door is right there. <laughs> Not a big deal. Alright, let's go ahead and find a place to put our um, our spotlight in the toolbar. Unfortunately, we didn't really have any open positions, so we just have to put it in a slot where we had something else. I really wish they would expand the toolbar to, you know, maybe, I don't know, more than just four different... Uh, I don't know what you want to call them. Four different toolbars? I don't know. I wish there were more than just four. Four does not seem like enough because I'm constantly having to go to the G menu and just switching things out. And I really wish they could kind of shift away from that aspect with the game. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool if you could just have more than four toolbars. Okay, so now that we have those fixed, let's go ahead and repair damages that are done elsewhere. And one of the reasons why we're doing this maintenance is because we actually have some pretty hefty mining that we have to do pretty soon. We're going to be needing resources so that we can actually finish that building and, you know, put everything in it. We're going to need a lot of stuff. So I want to make sure that when we go out into the asteroid fields, or into the asteroid, asteroid field? I don't know. Into the asteroid with our mining ship that we're not gonna, we're not setting ourselves up for disaster by going in with a ship that's already falling apart. And this ship really is in rough condition, there's no question. That's kind of weird that those are slanted blocks there. I'm gonna actually remove those and, and place just regular square ones in, because that looks a little weird to me. Okay, and there you can see the conveyor system on this ship. Uh, those are those are actually containers as well, so the conveyors are actually on the back side of those. Okay, let's go ahead and put in our square armor block and cycle around until we have a color that kind of matches. Um, yeah, we're going to have to alter this a little bit here. Let's go ahead and find one that kind of matches. I think that's pretty close. Well, it's definitely close enough. There's no question about it. Okay. And then let's go ahead and put our thruster on as well. Oh, I think I put a block where the thruster is supposed to go, so we'll have to tear that one out. No big deal. And then put in our thruster. Boom. Simple as that. And then we'll change the color on this one. And we can weld all this stuff together. Alright, looks good. Looking good so far. Excellent. The color is not perfect, but it's kind of... It's close enough. <laughs> I feel like it's close enough. And for some reason, this one is just slightly off on its color, so we'll just change that one there. And also, we will just go ahead and fix up this stuff on the bottom side here, too. This is kind of weird that this was done like this. Oh, actually, I didn't want to take that one out. I actually wanted to leave that one in, but oh well. We'll just have to put it back in. And there's some damage to that, and we'll fix that up real quick. Okay, then let's go ahead and... Oh, I need to take this one out as well. Okay, now we can go ahead and put our pink blocks back in and weld them up. Excellent! Oh, and there's some damage down here as well. So we're actually getting a pretty good view of all the stuff that's damaged on this ship by going down here and taking it all apart and whatever. Let's make sure there's enough fuel in this reactor. <coughs> oh, excuse my cough there. 
I could not hold that back. Okay, 23.9. Yeah, that's plenty. That is absolutely plenty. Okay. Oh, there's a little bit more damage. A little bit. Everything else is... No, there's damage up here, too. Wow. Good thing we decided to actually go ahead and perform some maintenance on this ship. This was not looking very promising. Just a few more bumps here or there and the whole ship would have gone and blown up on us. <laughs> oh boy. Would not have been good. Well, I don't know. You guys probably would have thought that was exciting. But that would not have been exciting for me because then I would have to start mining everything by hand and everything. Or have to start over from scratch and build a new mining ship. Which I don't really feel like we have time to do. I feel like we really have to get this stuff done. Okay, so this ship is looking much better. I think it's definitely in a suitable condition to, you know, go back out there and mine. Um, but we need to also spend some time on this ship because if we're ever going to be using this one, well, this one's missing a lot of parts too. <laughs> so let's see if we can't fix it up. Um, let's change the color there so we're not putting pink thrusters on this ship. That would just be a little weird, and I don't really know if that's the right color. Um, I feel like that's a little bit darker. Maybe it's like that color. Let's weld it up and see if the color matches. Okay, the color does match. Excellent. Very, very nice. And then I think this is a thruster here that's missing. Uh, there we go. Yeah, okay. And then there's also one down here at the bottom, I believe. Yes, there is. Okay. And it looks like another block goes in there. And yes, I know my suit energy is running dangerously low. We're going to have to run off and go recharge that suit in just a moment. And, okay. And we'll come back and weld all that stuff together, but for now, let's go ahead and recharge before we end up completely without any power on our suit. And if your suit power goes out, then you don't have jetpack power either. So th yeah, that's not very good. Not very good at all. You can get a good view of everything. Uh, oh, and we still need to, to finish this elevator shaft and basement floor level. I kind of completely forgot about it, to be honest with you. So that'll have to be something we do in the future as well. Is there any damage to this side of the ship at all? No. That side of the ship appears to be fine. Um... Oh, that's weird. It's like one heavy armor block out of all these light armor blocks. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Okay, whatever. And let's go ahead and weld these up. And then I also am probably going to go ahead and tell our assemblers to make some ammo and some rockets. Um, oh, hold on. We still have quite a bit of work to do up here, though. Let's go ahead and put down proper pieces for this. There we go. That's one down. Just a few more to go. And that should do it. Oh, no, there's a few more pieces missing as well. Okay. And good. Now we just need a thruster. Um, oh, I don't have any large steel tubes. Okay. We'll grab a few of those. And that should... Oh, we placed it wrong. Hold on. <laughs> Sticking out a little bit too far there. Okay. Now, there we go. Excellent! Now we can go ahead and just weld all this stuff together and the ship should be good as new. Good as new. Because of course we did go over it 
once before and made sure that we, um, is that, is that done right? Is that supposed to be like that? I feel like that's not proper. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Whoops. Don't want to destroy that. Okay. I'm going to put in a inverted corner here because I feel like that would have been a much better design. Yes, indeed. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this one out as well. And yeah, now we're just completely, you know, altering the ship design. I mean, nobody has come back for this ship. This ship once belonged to somebody named Lieutenant James Delroy from the Securito De Defense Services. Yeah, um, we haven't seen him, we haven't heard from him. He did leave us an audio recording where he basically said if we heard the auto audio recording that he was dead. So, yeah, I feel like it was time for us to go ahead and just fully take over this ship. And let's just make sure that we got everything. So when I go to the assemblers... Oh, no. We're still missing an engine. Or a thruster, whatever you want to call it. I guess engine works too, kind of, right? Right? I think so. I think so. It's a rocket engine. I guess it doesn't really work. No, I, I guess engine is, is not proper at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, this appears to be some damage on this, so we'll go ahead and fix that as well. Oh yeah, there's definitely damage. Yeah, that would have sucked if we were to try to fire rockets out of that damaged rocket pod. That probably would have just blown up the whole ship. Rockets in this game are very, very, very finicky. They do not work properly. They're very dangerous. You can oftentimes end up blowing up your own ship just by trying to fire rockets from your rocket pods. So we probably won't be trying to fire too many rockets, but at least we have the option of being able to do so if we absolutely have to. Let's just hope that we don't ever have to. Okay, well that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good indeed. Let's go over and start making some ammunition and some rockets just a few not too many just a few okay i think i have to click tools no it's not tools oh okay there it is magnesium fuel cell no we want a uh oh we don't have any platinum well that's a problem can we make this type of ammo yes we can we can actually make quite a bit of it. So let's make... Oh, I don't know. 200... Two, is 200 good enough? I think each Gatling cannon can hold 40 rounds. So... 40, 80, 120, 160... So we need about 160 to completely fill it up. So yeah, 200 is more than enough for now. We'll just go with 200. And while that's doing its thing... We should probably hop in our mining ship and go and grab some platinum because we need platinum if we're going to be making any type of rockets. Let's go ahead and lift up our landing gear and float away from the station with our mining ship that's all fixed and repaired. And let's go ahead and see if we can find some platinum. But platinum is one of those resources that I absolutely hate because it takes the refineries so long to actually refine it. It must be like, you know, more dense than some of the other stuff like gold and silver and iron because it just ta takes absolutely forever. But we do have six refineries now, so we should be able to get that going rather quickly. Um, I think we have to get a little bit closer before this thing will start to tell us what kind of stuff is here. And we're looking for platinum, but I'll take some other resources as well if we get close to them. Um, I could probably use some nickel, but I'm not real sure where the nickel is. It says it's there, but I don't really see any nickel there. That looks like iron to me. I suppose if I... Um, we need to make sure our little thingies are off, too. Oh, no, they're not off. Okay, well, they're off now. 
So we're not gonna be pumping our resources out the side of the ship. Let's see if there's any nickel here. I don't think there's gonna be any nickel here. It looks like it's just iron. I don't know why it's telling me there's nickel there. And it keeps like moving around too, so I'm, it makes me think that there really isn't any nickel there. I don't I don't know if there's any nickel here at all. See now it's not even saying well now it is. Okay, there's something going on with that. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not gonna sit there and do that, because I don't need iron right now. We have tons and tons and tons of iron. Okay, this asteroid is not, not good for what we want. Let's go over here to this one, which looks pretty weird from out here. And hopefully there's some platinum and an easy-to-grab location. Okay. We'll start slowing down so we don't crash into this asteroid. There's gold, iron, platinum! This is a really weird looking asteroid. Holy cow. Okay, where is this platinum? I mean, it says it's there, but... My spotlights do not seem to be working very well. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can turn up the brightness on these things. Oops, tried to select all of them. Um, I want to increase the radius and the intensity, I suppose. Okay, let's see if that works. Can I see the freaking... I don't know, there seems to be some kind of glitch with the lighting. Because you see my spotlights are not lighting up the asteroid. They're supposed to. Oh, now they do. Yeah, there's... that. That's not... That's not right. That's not how this should be working. But, okay. Anyways, there's the platinum now that we can see it. I really hope they fix that glitch, so I would really be able to like to see what the hell I'm looking at, because I couldn't even see the platinum, it's so dark. We don't need a whole lot of this, because like I said, it will take absolutely forever for the uh, refineries to produce it, so... Oh no! We're losing all kinds of stuff on our... On our left side there, we lost both spotlights in like both of them, one at right, one right after the other. I guess they're not really in the best location on this ship, but sometimes they last for like hours, and then sometimes they last for two minutes. It's really, really weird and inconsistent, for sure. Are we still getting platinum? It's a little bit difficult to tell. Sometimes the platinum will look like stone, and other times you can tell. No, the platinum's over here. Exclusively over here. We'll just make sure we drill straight into this section right here. We probably have enough of it at this point. But I do want to just continue to go further a little bit. Alright, let's pull out of there before we get stuck. And let's go ahead and check our inventory. Um, definitely got a good amount of platinum. Yeah, our refineries are going to be working on that for days. And we got some nickel in there too. So, okay. Let's go ahead and return this load of platinum and nickel because that's that's really that's plenty it's definitely plenty got so many different um oh i don't know what to call these targets or whatever <laughs> three of them so we have the station and then there's the the ship that we rescued, and then there's the welding ship, which we still haven't named! It needs a name! It's bad luck not to name a ship. Or is it bad luck to name a ship? Um, 
Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> I don't remember. Don't remember. Either way, I don't care. It needs a name. It needs a freaking name, and I want you guys to suggest names for it. So I'm not gonna name it until somebody suggests something. If you feel the same way I do, that the ship needs a name, there's no question about it. Leave a comment. Tell me what to name it. Alright, we've set down gently and we can go ahead and turn on our ejectors and start pumping those resources straight away into the refineries. I love how that works. Okay. Let's let's um let's make sure that we're getting our missiles and stuff like that produced. Um, well, we'll first need to make sure that our refineries are actually spreading the resources out properly. Which, so far, they appear to kind of be doing so. Um, this one could probably share some of the platinum with another refinery. And this one can also share as well. I kind of wish it would do this for me automatically, but it doesn't. So we have to do it ourselves. Yeah, this one's got a ton of nickel to have to go through. But that's why we have six refineries! We can get this stuff done in like, a second. And we should have an arc furnace that we can stick that in. Look how fast that goes. Look at that. It's already done. Jeez. So fast. And the platinum is still stacking up in this refinery. Um, well no, we'll, t we'll take all five, I guess. We'll just stick this down in the... Refinery number six, I guess. We'll take this iron and stick it in an arc furnace somewhere. Okay. Inventory management, folks! Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. Uh, they really should just make that stuff a little bit more... Um... Oh, what's the word? You know, less micromanaging. You know, they it should do more of, more of its thing by itself. It should be much more automated. You shouldn't have to tell the resources to spread themselves out you know, evenly in the refineries. That should be like a button press, or a checkbox somewhere, or just done automatically. So hopefully the developers will do that in the future. Okay, so let's make sh let's get our assemblers producing some missiles. We should have enough stuff to at least produce a few. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and produce a hundred, which we should have enough stuff for. Looks like we're going to have enough stuff for 100 missiles. We have our 200 ammo. So let's go ahead and collect that. Um, wait, where'd the 200 ammo go? It must be in a storage container somewhere. There it is. Let's go ahead and put back some of this iron and stuff that we don't need to be carrying so we can carry as much. Uh, yeah, 160 rounds is all we actually need to hold. So we have enough to fill up these Gatling guns. And how do I, how do I fill these? Where's the, where's the spot to load these guns? Um, do I load them through the cargo container? That'd be kind of cool. Alright, let's go ahead and divide these up into groups of 40. Okay, and then take off the the seven there. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I can just load them straight in through the cargo containers. That's kind of cool. And they're not actually holding the full 40. I thought they would hold 40, but they, they hold 39. It's kind of annoying, but oh well. 
I guess I can actually put much more ammo than that in here, too, because you just put them in the cargo containers. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. See, I can just put this stuff in the cargo containers and then those guns will have ammo for days. So I guess I could have made more than 200 rounds, but that's fine. We don't need an insane amount of stuff in there yet. We don't even have anything to shoot at. <laughs> or at least not yet. And let's take 40 of these if I can carry them. And I can. And let's go stick those in there. Excellent. So cool. Alright. Well, we'll have to, uh, in the next episode, build some kind of uh, target for some target practice. I think that'll be cool. So, if you guys want to see me test out this ship, um, then, uh, yeah, then... I'll see you guys in the next video for that one. Uh, oh, we forgot a little corner here. Alright. Alright guys, if you like this video, please do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It helps me out so much. And subscribe to my channel. That's always really fun to do. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.